Today we're going to be covering the top 25 items that you should be dropshipping for winter 2024. Winter is here. Now I know it might seem like this video is coming out a little bit late in the season, but did you know that winter is not necessarily during November or December? This should be interesting. It starts on December 21st and it ends on March 19th. Now. When I found that out, my mind was absolutely blown. For some reason, I grew up my entire life thinking that winter was in November or December, but I guess not. My whole life has been a lie. Whole life, I've been living a lie. But you know what's not a lie? All of the profits that these products can bring you this season. So let's go ahead and start the countdown. Now, all of these products were hand selected by expert dropshippers in the business. One of them being our man himself, Leron Zablo. He's been in the business for quite a few years. I think it's maybe seven or eight years now. It's a long time. And he's always had a hand in helping pay these winning products now all of these different products can also be found either in our marketplace or our winning product section over at autodias.com over at autodias.com once you sign up which by the way if you haven't signed up yet you can start your trial period right now for just one dollar But once you sign up, you can head over to the winning product section over at autods.com. And here you're gonna find tons of different winning products. All of these are proven best sellers. These are all backed by years of data, are currently trending, and people are actually looking for these right now. And on top of that, once you click into one of these products, if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna have tons of different analytics that can really help you start to market these products so you can start getting some sales and start making some money. So kicking off this list, the first item that we're gonna talk about is gonna be thermal coffee mugs. Now these are literally everywhere, whether it be during the winter season or throughout the entire year, you're always gonna find somebody with a thermal coffee mug in their hands, whether it be in the car, on their way to work, at work, sometimes even walking down the mall. We all know that people absolutely love their coffee and a lot of people don't like cold coffee. So they always go with an insulated mug to help keep it warm, especially during the winter season. A lot of the parts in the US during the winter season are really, really cold, especially with all the snow that's going on. Not for me though, cause I'm in South Florida. So it's kind of always sunny and hot here, but that doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, I still see people every single day on their way to work or at work, or again, just even walking down a store with their thermal mugs. So if this isn't something that you're selling right now, get to it. Now checking out a few of the ones that they have here, you can see they have quite a few different styles. They have some with a few different types of designs like this one right here. I actually think this one might be customizable. But aside from that, there's quite a few different types of styles, all fitting different demographics of people. And let's look at this one right here. This is actually the infamous Stanley mug. This has been an insane seller lately. Here you can actually see that they're running for $17.49. Now this is a branded item, so I don't really know how much you want to be offering this in your store. But as you can see, you can find something like this here for only $17.49. And these typically sell for about $30. As we always say though, stay away from branded items. Go for something similar so maybe something like this one right here this has a similar look and feel has a couple of different colors and overall it's also a lot cheaper a dollar 15. next up helping keep people warm during the winter we have an electric heated blanket sometimes these can come in some really small sizes typically people use those for either some pain or discomfort a lot of times in the back but you can also find these in much bigger sizes that you can simply just cuddle up with in front of the movies during a cold winter night so as you can see they have quite a few different styles a few different sizes and they even have have one here that's actually really cool this is one that you can wear this is interesting i have not seen this before and they even have some foot warmers look at that this is pretty cool because at the end of the day you can offer all of these together as a set or whenever you go to pretty much anyone's website you always see a frequently bought together you can bundle these up you can bundle them up under the frequently bought together tab so that way people can see i can stay warm pretty much from head to toe whether it be with a wearable blanket a foot warmer or an actual blanket itself there's a bunch of different sets that you can offer for a wide demographic of people fuzzy socks are up next helping keep people's feet warm and again these come in a few different variations they come primarily in a few different designs so as you can see here they have some christmas ones then they have some that you can just use throughout the year some cute little animal ones some paw prints and even some that resemble some slippers now fuzzy socks are one of those items that you can sell for pretty cheap and they won't really make you a huge profit but what you can do is you can offer these in sets so you can offer them in sets of five in sets of ten so that way you can increase your average order value you can either do all of them in the same design or have a multi-pack with the different designs in them. It's so smart. Scarves are up next and these primarily are all going to be more or less the same particularly in length. A lot of times there's going to be some shorter ones, some medium ones, and some longer ones. But the main difference here is going to be in the material. Some are going to be lighter. Some are going to be heavier. Some are going to be a little bit fuzzier. So always make sure you offer all of these different materials because not everyone likes the same type of scarf. Some people are going to need some warmer ones, while some others are going to need some lighter ones. Next up, we have snow boots. Now, when it comes to snow boots, you need to be somewhat careful on who you advertise it to if you're advertising on Facebook ads. So take, for example, you're targeting the United States. 
States. You're not going to want to target the entire United States for the simple fact that it doesn't snow in every part of the US. Most of the times here in South Florida, these are not necessarily worn. A few people will have them primarily as fashion statements or whenever they go out to certain places. But typically speaking, you're not going to see too many people wearing these out in the streets or out in the stores. For the most part, for these, you are going to want to target people more a bit up north. You are going to want to look for the colder states and the states that it actually snows in, not the states like Florida, where it's pretty much summer year round. But to give you three different states that it is going to be hot for the majority of the time, California, Texas, and Florida. These three are pretty much summer all year round, with the exception of a few cities, primarily the ones that are more towards the north. Next up at number six, we have an item that is not necessarily for us humans. It's actually more for our furry friends, and that is a warm dog coat. Now, not all dogs are meant for the really cold conditions, especially with snow. So that's what these are for. And trust me when I say that people will not spare any expense with their dogs or their pets comfort. People see their pets as their own kids, so they will not be shy about spending money on something like this. Next up, we have winter baby car seat covers. These are going to help keep kids warm whether it be in a car seat or a stroller. For the most part, what these are going to be is simply just a cover. So as you can see here, it's a little cover that attaches to the top and just prevents any cold air from going through. A lot of the times these aren't necessarily just used for cold air though. Sometimes these are used to protect kids from the sun whenever it's too hot or too sunny outside. Next up, we have another somewhat region specific item and that is snow blowers. Now snow blowers are going to come in a few different sizes primarily. So the prices can range pretty wildly. They can start off within the low 100s and go anywhere up to the thousands. Now, a snowblower, a lot of the times, is going to be best purchased at a place like either Walmart or Home Depot. The cool thing about these places is the fact that a lot of the times you're going to find them on sale. So right now you can find this particular one for about $279, down from $500. So from here, you can make a fairly good profit simply by raising this to up to $350 or even $400. Now, another really good thing about using a place like Walmart as your supplier is the fact that they have the price match policy. Now, with a price match policy, what ends up happening is if you source this item today for those $500, let's say it's at original price and tomorrow goes down to $250 for sale, then you can reach out to Walmart and they'll refund you back those $250. So right there, you already have a pretty big profit to be made. Up next, we have cozy sweaters. Now these are not just a winter item. These are pretty much used year round because people are typically going to use these pretty much wherever they go if there's any sort of air or air conditioner or any sort of breeze. So a lot of times people buy these sweaters, they keep them in their closet or their drawers and they pull them out pretty much almost every Every single weekend. So this is an item that is not just good for winter, it's good for year round, especially with women. Women love to pair these different sweaters with their different outfits, whether it be for a casual day of fun or a fun night out. Next up at number 10, we have rain boots. Now you might be thinking rain boots during the winter, I thought it's supposed to be snowing. Well, yeah, that's true, but snow also tends to melt and that's when the streets start to get really soggy really wet and full of different puddles not only that but during the winter when there is snow sometimes if it's not cold enough if it's not just there it will be raining rather than snowing which is when people are going to opt in for the rain boots rather than the snow boots one quick tip that i'm going to give you when it comes to offering rain boots or snow boots is going to be to offer a set or to offer a promotion. So you can do something like a buy one, get one. You can do maybe buy one, get one half off, buy one, get one 25% off where somebody can purchase snow boots and get their rain boots at a discounted rate or vice versa. Unisex beanies are up next and that means they're either for both men or women. Now when it comes to beanies, I absolutely love them. I've always loved the style. I love how they look, but unfortunately due to my oddly shaped head, they don't necessarily fit me the way that I would like them to. It looks really weird. So instead of being able to wear them myself, I would rather just sell them. Now when it comes to beanies, they have a few different styles. They have some like this, which are the more hipster style. They have a few other ones, which are the classic ones like this. Of course, you're always going to find some with a few different designs, a few different sayings like this one right here, or these Spider-Man ones, which as we all know, Spider-Man is branded and it's trademarked. So we want to stay away from this. But if you look over to the right, you have a pretty uniquely styled one. This is like an oversized beanie. This is something that I haven't seen before and could potentially do pretty well. Now, a beanie is the perfect pairing for our next item and that are gloves, but not only just a regular glove, glove, make sure that they're touch screen gloves, because a lot of the times when somebody's outside, they're going to pull out their phone. And if they have gloves that are not touch screen friendly, then they're going to have to take off their gloves and their hands are going to freeze and fall off. No, I'm just kidding. They're just going to get really cold, but people don't really like that. People prefer to keep their gloves on, especially if it's
it's freezing outside or if it's snowing. So quick tip, if you're offering gloves, make sure they're touchscreen friendly or just simply touchscreen gloves. But gloves are the perfect addition or the perfect pairing to go with a beanie. You can either offer these as a set, as you can see right here in AliExpress, sellers are already doing that, or you can offer them in the form of an offer, like I mentioned earlier, buy one, get one free, buy one, get one at a discount, things like that. Now, next up, we have one item that is truly extremely adorable. <laughs> I bought one of these for my first son quite a while back. And honestly, when you put it on them, it looks cute. It looks fantastic. You just really want to grab the kid and just, but I'm talking about newborn baby bear onesies. These are one of the more popular types of onesies that there are, especially during the winter months, because they really help keep the kids warm. Now, you don't necessarily have to opt in for a bear onesie. You can also find a few other ones. You can find a bear, you can find a tiger, giraffe, elephant, whatever type of animal it may be. Just make sure that it's a cute animal onesie. Primarily though, the most popular one is going to be a bear. Now, the variations on these can also range aside from the style and the look or the type of animal that it is. Another thing that really ranges a lot when it comes to kids products is sizes. So you're going to have sizes from newborn all the way up to toddlers, maybe two, three, four, or even five years old. Now, because kids also range in sizes, you're going to have some newborns that are pretty big or some older kids that are pretty small. It's always best to offer some sort of sizing chart. So make sure that you have a sizing chart on your website or in your pictures. So that way parents can make sure that they're choosing the right sizes for their kids. Now up next we have thermal clothing. These can be both for men and women as well as kids. And what these are, are simply just insulated pieces of clothing. So these are going to be different shirts, different pants, different socks that are made out of a special material that helps insulate the warmth. So it can help keep you warm throughout the winter weeks. Now these in combination with either a sweater, another pair of pants or a scarf can really help keep people warm, especially in the snowy places. So one really good tip that I can give you when you're offering these types of pieces is if you're offering a sweater or if you're offering a scarf, again, offer this as part of a set, offer it as a buy one, get one offer. Mention that this item along with one of the others is a frequently bought together. It will increase your average order value. Coming up next, we have an electric soup maker. Now, this is actually kind of a unique one because I haven't necessarily seen an electric soup maker, although these can kind of double as a rice maker. But for the sake of this video, it's going to be an electric soup maker because that's the way that you're going to market it. You can market this in a way where it's going to make you some nice warm soup to keep you warm throughout the holiday night, throughout the winter nights or winter weeks. Now, the good thing about this is the fact that it's not necessarily a big, bulky appliance or item for that matter. This is something that even college students can use in their dorm rooms. Now, speaking of cold nights, we all know that during the winter, a lot of places are going to have some pretty cold nights as well as days, in which case you're going to want a personal heater. Now, back in my day, personal heaters used to be like this. They were pretty much just like this. It was one little unit and it would warm up the air around you. For the most part, I would have one in the office I used to work at, and it really helped keep me warm in my little closet space because I used to work IT and they used to keep us in the little corner all the way at the edge of the building. And of course, like every other IT office, it was freezing cold. So I always had one of these to help me stay warm. But nowadays they have some different and more high tech ones. When I look at these, I'm like, whoa, what is this? For example, they have these neck heaters. Now during the pandemic, there was this huge boom of portable neck air blowers for some reason. I guess because people probably thought it would blow away the germs or something. <laughs> I don't know. But that's when these started to make an appearance. So little by little, I started seeing these start to evolve. And now they even have these portable neck heaters. So even if you're in an airplane and you're cold, you can wear one of these and they'll start to warm you up. And on top of that, they also have hand warmer power banks. These are crazy. These are items that I've never in my life seen before. These are new up and coming products. So if you haven't looked into these yet, I highly suggest you do. You could be the first to start a trend. But aside from that, as you can see, heaters do come in quite the few different varieties. Now, this next one is one that you probably would not have expected. And this is actually a supplement. So the next one is vitamin D. Now, our bodies primarily get vitamin D from the sun, but in certain parts of the country or in certain parts of the world, there's not as much sun during the winter time. So because of that, vitamin D supplements are extremely popular and very lucrative during this particular time of the year. Now, when it comes to vitamin D, there are going to be a few different options to choose from. My recommendation, stick to vitamin D for adults and if you have the option to, and it's safe enough for you and you're comfortable with selling it, you can also offer vitamin D supplements for kids. Of course, when it comes to the vitamin D supplements for kids, always make sure that your supplier is one, reputable, two, they have high quality products, and three, they are all safe for consumption. Three in one animal hats are up next, and these are quite the unique item. These are some that are fairly new, especially in the scene. This is a new type of product that lately has been starting to make waves in the past few years. And what this is, is simply just a hat with gloves. That's literally all it is. It's a little hat, typically going to be in the shape or form of an animal, and it's going to have some really long ears 
which are going to double as some sort of earmuffs. These are unique. These are different. These are fun. Kids absolutely love these. And not just kids, adults too. So check this one out. This one's actually a bit more unique than the rest, primarily because it has built-in lights. This is actually really cool. This is something that you're going to see a lot if you watch streams. So if you watch people on Twitch, maybe they stream video games, you're going to see a lot of things that are colored like this. A lot of RGB lights. So remember how one of the last items we mentioned were rain boots? Well, this next one is the perfect addition to those rain boots. And that is a rain coat. Now, like I mentioned earlier, during the winter seasons, a lot of the places where it does snow, it's also going to rain. And because of that, a rain boat and rain boots could potentially be essential. Of course, this really depends on the area that the person is living in. But when you're selling rain boots, always make sure to offer it as a set with a rain coat. Now, it's no secret that during the winter months, one thing that comes along with it tends to be dry skin. And because of that, you always want to make sure that you also offer dry skin moisturizer. Now, this can come in a few different types. Some are going to be for moisturizing hands. Some are going to be more for chapped lips. But at the end of the day, during the winter times, people are going to be looking for moisturizer. Again, it doesn't really matter if it's going to be for your lips, for your hands, for your face, for your body, whatever it is. Try to offer these different variations for specific body parts or also try to offer more generic moisturizing cream that you can advertise for the entire body. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of the times whenever you're outside playing, playing, right? <laughs> I don't know why I just completely thought about playing, but when you're outside playing in the rain, I guess my mind just went back a few years, quite a few years, a few decades, actually. Me? Back in my day? I don't know about you, but when it comes to having wet shoes, it's really uncomfortable. Now, during the winter months, like I said earlier, it does tend to snow and it tends to rain. Snow turns into water. And what ends up happening is your shoes get soaked and that becomes very, very uncomfortable. Now, back in my day, one trick used to be to just simply put your shoes by the fridge and a little bit of air that came out would dry them. But now they have actual shoe dryers. These shoe dryers literally just stick into your shoes leave them on overnight, and when you wake up, they're going to be completely dry and even warm. As you can see, they come in a few different options, but for the most part, they are going to come in a set of two, which makes sense because you wear two shoes. Now, they do have a few different variations. They have some corded ones that you just move around, or they also have some that you just simply put your shoes on top of. Regardless of which ones you decide to offer, this one's actually really cool. It's like the little air blowers. Anyway, regardless of whichever ones you decide to offer, these are a great addition to any store during the winter months. Knee-high boot socks are up next, and these are typically going to be more popular amongst women. But these are also going to be a very popular Christmas gift. So if you're offering these in December, you can possibly expect to see a pretty big surge in selling some of these right before Christmas time. But aside from that, during the winter months, these are also something that are very highly in demand because they are going to help keep people's legs warm. Now, during the winter seasons, people do tend to spend more time indoors than they would typically outside, especially in times of snow and rain. So because of this, a lot of people are going to end up watching TV most of the time. But there's a lot of people that don't want to spend hours upon hours either on their phones, scrolling through TikTok or just mindlessly watching TV. So because of that, during the winter seasons, books have seen a huge surge in sales. Again, people like to stay home. They don't necessarily want to watch TV all day. So they opt in for something a bit more productive and keep their minds busy, healthy, and active. Now, if you don't really know which books that you want to drop ship, then simply go on TikTok. Lately, my wife has actually been going on TikTok for different book recommendations. It's crazy how much stuff and how much information you can find on TikTok. Like, you can literally find anything on there. It's the next YouTube university, except in short clips. So pretty much all you have to do is just go on over to the search bar. I'm going to do this on the PC, but you can do this through the phone or through the computer as well. But all you have to do is simply go on the search bar, type in hashtag books, or just simply look for books recommendations. But either one that you go with, just start looking through some of the different videos that there are, and you're going to start seeing people recommending different books. So a few different hashtags that you can look for are going to be hashtag books, hashtag books to read. You can also do hashtag book recommendations. And there's a lot more other hashtags that you can start looking through to find what people are recommending and what people are reading. But realistically speaking, when it comes to books, there's a lot of niches. There's tons of different niches that are huge and not all of them are necessarily on TikTok. Not everyone is recommending them. So if if you have personal experience in the book section, if there's a particular book that you like, you can recommend that as well. You can maybe get on TikTok, make some videos around it and link it to your dropshipping website. Next up at 24, we have earmuffs. Now earmuffs can be pretty cool because these can either be simple earmuffs that you can offer at a pretty cheap price, or you can offer earmuffs that also double as headphones. So for these, you're going to find quite a few different variations. They typically are going to come in a few different types of styles, but for the most part, they are going to be pretty oversized. They're going to be fuzzy 
and most of the times they're primarily going to be to just help keep people warm but again you can always offer a variation that has built-in speakers or simply some that have different designs you know some cute little animals because for the most part girls are going to be the ones that wear these so you have some here that are like little cat ears or some unicorn ears now there are a few others that are a bit more gender neutral and some that are simply just for guys for those you can simply keep scrolling and you're going to find some more basic ones like these and last but certainly not least we have a sinus relief mask now this is one that i could probably use year round because i have sinuses i have sinus issues i have allergies all the time sometimes in these videos you might even hear my nose stuff that's crazy but aside from that these for the most part are going to work with either some sort of cold or hot therapy it's supposed to help clear up your nostrils especially during the winter months when the cold air can really start to affect your nose start to give you headaches and it's really just breathing all that cold air in that can start causing a few problems and this helps with relieving that and that brings us to the end of today's dropshipping video huge thank you to everyone for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end it truly does mean a lot once again as always my name is mario with AutoDS, and i'll catch y'all next time